One bill acquired. Here's your wallet, Dad. This time at 38,000. Here comes the new boy. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big breakdown. It's a drill working there. Good morning. Look at that. What a belter. Anyway, today we're going to go and try and buy a bull. So there's bull sales on at the moment. We're looking for an Angus bull. I'll tell you the reasons later. But that's where we're at to this morning. We've got a few things to do before we get going in a bit of a rush. So you might not see much until later on when we're at the bull field. squared up. We've sorted out which fort we're going for. We're expecting delivery this week at some point. Maybe later on in the week. It's Monday today, so that'll be coming soon. Laurie's just arrived with uh, blocks for the extension at the back, the storage extension. So there's four palletfuls, so I'm just going to get some pallets to, for him to dump them onto. The Blue Winter, we're not allowed to sell them because it's CIP, CHIP that own them. CEP, set, I can't remember, anyway. They're property of someone, so officially you're not allowed to sell them. Here he is, Travis Parkins. I'll just dump them down on the concrete pad here. He's got his big arms, so just a ah, claw type thing. Grab onto the blocks, and chuck them onto the pallets, which I'm just laying out. One, two, three, four. So Angus bull sales are today, Aberdeen Angus. That's the type of bull I think we're after at the moment. We've got one Charlie, um, so if we get an Angus, that'll one give us a bit of difference in growth wise of the calf. So we can spread out the period of when the stock is getting fat and ready for the butchery. We've got two different breeds, so they'll grow a bit different. But we need to spread the cows across two fields, so we need two bulls. We've also got 40 cows, and we'll probably get a few more for bulling, so uh, we'll be needing two bulls regardless. So that's why we're away today to try and pick up a bull. There's 131 or 130 Angus bulls being sold today, so hopefully one picks our fancy. We're not spending heaps on a bull, we're kind of low end of the market, so hopefully the prices are not too stiff and we'll get, a, get, get ourselves in and get ourselves a bull, bring it home. Wish us luck. Thank you, Barman, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Stirling Agricultural Centre on behalf of United Auctions to an annual Aberdeen Angus bull sale. Please have a bite. Please have a bite. A better bite. Outside of half. Half. We can take to three and a half. Two thousand two hundred. Two thousand two hundred. Five. Eight. Two eight. Three thousand two. Five. Three five. Three thousand five. Three thousand five. Who said yes? Three five. Five. Three thousand five. Eight. Right, we've got a bull. Just getting reversed up in here because we've bought a bull. <laughs> there was bull. There was one that went just just five minutes ago for twenty eight thousand. Some serious money. 
Ours was definitely not that much. Take a zero off the end. That'll do it. Here he is. Boy's just leading him out for me. Trailer's over here. Euro, take him home, we'll get a look at him, but seem to be happy. <laughs> One bill acquired. Is your wallet done? <laughs> uh, Empty. Okay. In the overflow car park today, it's heaving. Anyway, where are we home? Just set up a pen there for him. There's a bit of uh, putting random gates in random places, but anyway, should hold him fine. Hopefully, the new bill, Euro, and Percy get on. So don't scrap through the fences or anything like that, through the gates, so I'll weigh and have a look at him now. It's pretty miserable, it's drizzly and not very nice. That's just gonna get him reversed up here. Here comes the new boy. There he is. Called Euro. Euro. <laughs> Euro and Percy. Hopefully they'll get on. Alright, that's him offloaded. I need to head back. Kev's just shifting bales and whatnot along to yard number three where needing straw and he'll bring some silage on the road as well to home. I'll come back along and see Percy later, but I need to nip back home. Not Percy, Euro. Euro the new bull. Euro and Percy. Trailer off. So we've now got we Percy and Euro the money man. That's what we'll call him, Euro the money man. Laurie's just arrived to pick up the blue pallets. So, I'm just gonna have to go and load him. And then the blocks that came first thing. Kev shifted them into here, down there as well. The guys are putting in all the blocks, so they're getting through them pretty quick. Five guys, all putting blocks in, so they're getting through them pretty quick. loaded up just checking the coos just now grab a grinder and cut a gap in the feeder along the road where the new bull is so he can get his head into the feeder go and do that just now well he looks like he's settled in he's peaceful they're not scrapping at the moment just remembered i don't need the grinder because we changed the plan and we're not going to cut that open obviously because he's not even into it he can't get to it. Hmm. He's some beast. Aren't you, boy? Hey. Aren't boy? Here he is. His name's Euro. So we'll call him the money man. Just the money man. We're pretty happy with him. He's got decent EBVs, estimated breeding values. It's kind of stats you get on the... On the um, on the breed line and how it falls down into him and what his genetics are like um, and it's, they're, they're all estimates take them with a pinch of salt but I like the decent shape of him he's a decent size good decent length on him so took the punt and here he is big euro he's looking pretty plump at the moment he'll fit been fed up quite a bit to get him in quite a heavy condition for the sale most of them are like that but so he's a wee bit chunky all over but he'll slim down a wee bit he's a wee bit fitter just before he heads out to the cows, which will be in about, when will that be, four months time? Three and a half, three and a half months time till he heads out to the to the cows. You can see Percy in behind him. Bulls are kind of notorious for fighting each other and they'll try and fight each other through a gate. So 
see what happens. Hopefully they'll be pally. Anyway, jobs are good and hopefully he'll perform. Only time will tell with him. Still kind of to find out how he's going to perform. We know he's managed to put cows in calf, but we'll see what comes of him. See what his offspring are like. Get on well with him, he's fairly calm. Doesn't cause any disruption, just chills out. Hopefully the money man will be the same. So who's your favorite? Put it down below. Percy or the money man? The new one, the old one. They're both pretty young. He's just coming in for his second season and he'll be coming for his first. This building I'm standing in is getting bulldozed. Not decided when, but it is getting bulldozed. It's fine to house bulls at the moment, but it's, it's just not much use for much else. Roof's a bit like a sieve and it's it drains. There's no real drainage in it. The water pools from the outside, comes in and puddles up inside the shed. Doesn't get away anywhere either. It's just, it's, it's dated. It definitely served its time due an upgrade. So that's, it's on the list of things, but where is it? Is it at the top, is it at the bottom, is it in the middle? Mm. It's not at the very top anyway, otherwise it would be started. Will you dare to